Hello everybody, SoCal Thero here, welcoming you back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. It has been a while since we've uh, played this game, and I'm hoping with my recent PC update, it should record and look a lot smoother. Could be wrong. If it is going kind of bad where the audio and the video is desyncing, I probably will speed up time. Uh, we got a few vehicles here to work on, uh, this one being the one we're going to work on today. I'll go over it in a second here. But uh, as you can see, we have the Bugatti, I believe this is a Veyron is how it's pronounced. Yeah, Veyron Super Sport right here that we have to work on. Um, this car was actually a request by somebody who commented a while back on this series. And I finally found a mod for one. It's the uh, Ferrari F40. It's a uh, V8 model, so we'll be restoring that as well. Then we have a GMC Jimmy in the back here that is pretty beat to hell as well. We'll be restoring one of these. And also in a future episode, I will be doing a special and I'm going to kind of keep that one lip tight there and not tell you what it is, but you'll see it. It'll involve multiple cars and most likely will be sped up as well. So I won't be commentating through it. But uh, today we're going to be working on this. This is a Warthog, I believe. It's from the video game Halo. Yeah, Warthog M12. So this is an, it's a vehicle that they put in the game here. So we're going to go ahead and get started on repairing it. So I need to... Why is that not coming up with the correct thing? It should be allowing me... There we go. Yes. Go ahead and use the welder. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the car. And then we're going to go ahead and clean the interior, too, just so we can get this out of the way. All right, so it took all the rust off. We still have rusty parts, obviously, that we still got to deal with. And uh, we are going to be disassembling this. So I'm going to hop up here real quick and start with the motor. Looks like this thing's using two air filters, which that's pretty big. Damn, it's using four batteries. That's, that's a first. All right, let's go ahead and pull that out. Actually... Let's see, the engine is pretty disassembled, so, or, well, it's not there, just to be quite honest. So we're going to just go ahead and put that up in the air and start to, s oh, why do I have a, I have a good battery on me for some reason. That must have been left over from a car. So we're going to let that battery charge while that's going on. I'm going to go ahead and start taking this apart as well. There we go. And those of you that have been to the channel for a while are pretty familiar with this process. It's just usually disassembly and then reassembly. Um, since it's been a while for the series, I wanted to do this again for you guys that do enjoy watching the disassembly or the uh, teardown process with the vehicle. But most likely I won't keep to it in the series just because it makes the videos a lot longer. And I don't want to take up too much of your time watching me take it apart, fix all the parts, and then put it all back together again. Um, I did go ahead and get started on the restoration of the wheels and tires. Uh, unfortunately, when I was doing that, two of the wheels broke when I was uh, fixing them. So I had to scrap those and buy two more. But uh, it was okay. I wanted to go with... Um, I went with the same wheels and tires uh, that came with the mod. Because it comes with these really oversized wheels and tires. And... Um, I just wanted to keep to the theme of it, basically, which makes sense, because this thing is freaking huge. It, it should be rocking some big uh, wheels and tires on it. Uh, Mod-wise, it looks like it's using a lot of the Jeep. Like, this right here I'm familiar with. It uses the Jeep uh, DLCs, a set of mods. There we go. Let's, oh, I can't pull that off, because I got this. There we go. Okay. And, of course, there's something here. Oh. Transmission, duh. The transmission hasn't even been pulled yet. Go ahead and get the drive shaft off back here, too. Um, little update to this. Is that three fuel tanks in the back? Holy hell. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm kind of like... There we go. Kind of getting sidetracked here. I'll be talking about something, and all of a sudden it's like, squirrel. There it is. But, uh... Yeah. This um this vehicle has finally educated me enough to where I or well actually it, it forced me to educate myself on how to finally get those oversized wheels and tires that I'm used to seeing on this game. I was like, man, how do you do that? Is that a mod? Nope, it's not a mod. It is simply a settings change that I had no idea about, and finally now I do. So I'm able to put the correct size wheels and tires 
on the vehicles that are a little bit larger in size like this that might require it. Um, I did download a few more... Whoops. Why is that not coming off? There we go. I did download a few more vehicle mods. That's why you see the Bugatti Barrier on there. Um, there's also a like older, like a 90s Mustang that I downloaded as well. But there's not really much in the way of mods coming out for this game anymore, at least from a vehicle standpoint. I'm not as familiar with it, but I see uploads for like config files and I kind of have a basic understanding on how to install it, but I don't know exactly how to make it work in the game. So like the one I picked up today was for somebody's uh, Ford F-350 mod, which I don't really need because I already have the F-350 from the DLC. I believe I do anyways. Unless that is his mod and just this whole time I've been thinking that it was part of the DLC, but I picked it up and it supposedly lifts the truck a lot higher and it puts some bigger wheels and tires on it, which I mean with this mod now I can do that. Or not this mod, but with this setting on the, uh, on the game I can do that now. And again, if you want to change out to having bigger wheels and tires that are just absurd and don't care about, like, the realism, you just, um, here, I'll show you right here. So, that's the wheel and tire. You cannot get that tire because it's based off of a uh, inaccurate size. But if you change the settings, you are able to take this, and you are able to... Put whatever size you want <laughs> and uh, as you can see the tire is pretty big but if you don't care about realism and like the look then I would suggest turning it off just for uh, ease of creativity but see this is the reason why as you can see the tire is clipping through there just because it's freaking huge it, it doesn't make any sense but it's happening <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and change out this battery it should be done and we're gonna go ahead and put another battery on there while our wheel is balancing, which looks like it's done as well. Uh, suspension wise, what did we have for su suspension? We didn't have any much, okay. So we're just gonna get the batteries charged on this, which looks like we just, yep, come on. One more is all we need, and then should be good to go there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start assembling the, actually, I'm gonna start fixing stuff, right? Yep, let's go ahead and fix this stuff while that last battery is charging. So, oh, people ask me how do I do this, I simply just smash the enter button and I am constantly repairing. Sometimes stuff breaks, sometimes it doesn't. Like when you hear that crashing sound that I'm assuming means that it broke, so. We've gone ahead and repaired all of our uh, parts that we have for this thing. Let's go ahead and take this off. And we're going to go ahead and start with the engine. Oops. Oh. I guess the radiator. Wasn't planning on doing that. Let's get the engine block. Oh, engine block wasn't salvageable. So it looks like we're gonna go ahead and start working on the engine. So we need a engine block V8 is what we're looking for. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There's so many parts in here now with all the different DLCs, it can get pretty uh, pretty hard to find stuff, even if you're highlighted on it. Like I was there, apparently. All right, so we got that. Okay, you know what? There's some. It's been a while, so I do apologize. There is something I'm forgetting to do. This is so I don't come across broken parts. There we go. Now I can uh, I can assemble this without having that issue. Uh, part mount. There we go. So we are, or well, actually, we have enough batteries, but we have an extra battery charging right now. Uh, air filter base, I'm going to be missing that. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to need two air filters. Eh, you know what? Maybe, yeah, we'll just do regular. We're not going to do performance stuff on this thing. So apologies to those that wanted to see me put a huge, like, blower in the thing and just turbo it and make it crazy. <laughs> let's see here. Put the air filter on. Yep, we got enough covers. Oh... And those of you that have been here for a while, you already know I hate dealing with these clips because they're so tiny and just ridiculous. Yep, now I'm out of them. There it is. Oh, man. Uh, they're just they're a pain in the ass to deal with. And to have it on, 
and have two of them on here or two sets of them on here is just like, oh, great. Thank you. It's like it's almost like the mod creator has seen my video and was like, oh, yeah, let me just troll them a little bit here and put even more clips on here. <laughs> All right. So we got that. That is covered. We can go ahead and start working on the pieces around it here. Yep. Let's get the power steering pump in. I don't think this engine came with if, when you guys saw me taking the engine apart that's literally all that came with this thing so I'm assuming these are leftover parts from all the uh, previous builds that I've uh, had in this game let's go ahead and raise the vehicle up so we can get underneath it and work here as well all right let's go to part mount yep we have the crankshaft that's perfect I probably don't have this stuff yep and just off the top of my head, I cannot remember which one it is. I think it's the pressure plate that I can always salvage. It's the other stuff I can't. So go ahead and pick this stuff up. Yep, clutch plate I already have. Oh, I thought I bought the... Oh, nope. I messed that up. It was the clutch plate. It's the pressure plate that I can't salvage. I never can remember those things, which ones I can usually fix and keep. All right, gearbox, yep, I had an extra gearbox anyways, just because I've worked on plenty of the V8s in this game that just accrued a bunch of parts over time. Uh, I, of course I don't have an oil filter. Let's see here, where is, oh. There we go. Luckily these have different colors for different engines, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to see them anyways, just because they're color coordinated, so they stand out. And then, of course, I do still have some of my parts from before. So you can see me, obviously, with a bunch of crankshaft uh, bearing caps such as that. Uh, since we're under here, I guess we might as well try to work on this stuff, too, if I have it. Yep, I seem to have some of it. The drive shaft again with the mod it's not going to link up correctly there or to another body panel or mechanical part so you you have to be a little willing with the uh with the mods the front shock absorber b i don't have any of those i don't have any inner tie rods which means i probably don't have any outer tie rods either don't have that geez i don't have a lot of stuff All right, so we need front shock absorber B. There we go. Just buy a, a few of them. Uh, we need two of those. Let's see what else do we did we need. Uh, tie rods. That's right. I need a inner and an outer tie rod. There we go. Just buy twenty of them. That's something that all the vehicles need, so might as well get them all. Inner tie rod. So as, as you can see, the tie rod's not actually connected, but again, it's a mod. You have to be willing to accept things like that. And I obviously do because I appreciate the person taking the time to build the mod over it accurately fitting in the game as good as it can be. And compared to some of the other ones, uh, this is actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and put this together. There we go, we're ready for wheel and tire on this side. We're actually gonna hop over here. I'm trying to make my way onto this side. We're gonna continue to work on the engine. I'm just gonna get the front end put in. This is definitely not how you would do this in real life. You would not build the entire front end first because it's just gonna make it uh, front end heavy and it'd fall off a lift. This is definitely not what you'd be doing, but since it's a game, we're letting it go here. These leaf springs on. Alright. And then I hope I don't need... Oh no, it says front steering knuckles, so I guess I won't need those in the back. Because obviously it's in the name. Don't need to do it. There we go. The wheel hub on. So we're just going to get the front... Oh, 
I don't have that front drive axle G. Okay. Front axle drive. Front drive axle G. Where you at? There we go. And I don't restore a lot of Jeeps in this game, so like the Jeep parts such as that is not something I'll just have in my inventory. Okay, so the front end of this thing is done. We're going to lower it back down just so we can start working on the top end of the engine here. There we go. Oh, I have no pistons. Get back into the engine category here. Piston. And we are going to need the rings to match. Yeah, I love that instant delivery there. So, I don't know if the r rumors are true or not. And you guys can let me know in the comments below. Because I don't like follow as closely as I probably should for games like this. That actually are a lot of enjoyment for me to play. But if I saw correctly... I think there's a car mechanic simulator 2021 coming out in the uh, obviously 2021 it would probably come out in 2021 but you guys can let me know in the comments below if you saw the same thing or not because I want to say that's what I saw Jeez, this is very hard to work around Let's see if I can work back here yeah and again, this car did not have these parts. These are just leftovers from my inventory that I have, which I always enjoy depleting that. Oh my God, it's supercharged. That's cool. That is cool. I did not know this thing was supercharged. But yeah, I heard there's a car mechanic simulator 2021 coming out for the PC, which would be really cool to see what they do with the update. And obviously, if it does come out, if it is a thing, I will most likely be buying it just because I am a fan of this game. It's a uh, it's a lot of fun. It passes the time and it's a lot of fun and it's pretty educational too. It's not dead on 100% how to work on a car. Luckily, I learned that as a trait when I was uh, working in the car industry. Oh, I don't have that either. But it... It's a good representation of it. Timing chain cover. No, we need timing belt cover. Or just timing cover. We probably need spark plugs too. Let's be honest while I'm looking at that. And we probably need a starter. And I saw we have a supercharger, so we'll need that. Where's the cover? Mm -mm -mm. Timing cover gonna be for a V8 it's usually pretty big and in a V looking thing there we go okay so we got that this radiator is just right in your face in this mod this is kind of hard to see around then again though when you're working on cars it is kind of tough like this so I guess if you're looking for that sort of realism this one is gonna bring it to you Look over this way. And a lot of these parts I've already had, so it's, I'm lucking out. And I keep jinxing myself when I say it, because I say it, and then all of a sudden, nope, you don't have that one. Oh, I need a water pump. That's easy, though. That's right here. And then we just got to put the belts on, and then we should be in good shape here for the uh, front end of the motor. If I could see him, I'm going to have to move down here. Yeah. Hmm. You no, know I can't. Oh, maybe because I don't have the head covers on. I don't have that one. I do have that. Nope. Don't want to install that just yet. I want this. Okay. I don't have either head covers. I'm surprised. That's another thing I usually have. So engine head cover B for a V8 right there. And engine cover A for a V8. Where you at? I... There it is. I wonder if that's something... You know what? We're going to install this real quick. I'm going to look at something else here. I wonder if you can paint that. I doubt you can. I, I want to say you can only paint body panels and rims. 
But we're going to check it out anyways. If you can't, that'd be a good suggestion for, uh... For, uh, 2021. Nope, looks like you can't. Because it's not in there. Close up our paint booth. You don't want to get dust in there. Oh, well. We tried. It would be pretty cool if you could change the color. I'd like to get it matching the uh, camouflage color on the outside there. Get this bolted down here. There we go. And we need to put our plugs in. And our ignition coils. And then we also got to put the uh, coil cover on. And then this side will be done. Okay, I don't have any of that. So we need... Um, it where the hell are they? Let's see. We need the ignition coil. I saw something else too that grabbed my eye. Might as well get that while I'm here. And that I believe is something else I'll need. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where the hell are they? I know what color they are when um when I'm buying them. For the performance parts, they're like red in color. Where the hell are they? I need to check again. Let me see. Ignition coil. Yeah, that's all I'm looking for. Ignition wires. Oh, coil. It's up here. Oh, I'm an idiot. There they are. And we'll see if we need coil covers too. We'll just get this whole side of it done. Oh, I forgot the exhaust too. The headers down there. Oh, that's a dipstick. I don't need that. Oh, luckily I had extras of those, so one less thing we have to buy. Yep, don't have the coil cover, don't have the supercharger. Of course, I bought the wrong radiator, too. <laughs> oh, well. I'm sure I'll use that radiator at some point. So, let's go ahead and get the coil covers. I'm gonna be way the hell up here. Nope. I think I ran past them. Yep. We we'll need two of those. We need a supercharger. And we don't want the overhead valve. There we go. And there was something else we needed and I totally forgot. Okay. Well, we'll get back to it. Oh, the radiator. Yeah, that's what I was forgetting. I was going to buy the uh, correct one. Alright, let's get the spark plugs in. Get the ignition coils in as well. I didn't see an exhaust on this thing when I took it apart. So, I'm not sure if there's actually one or not. We're missing a fuel filter. We had one of the fuel rails, but we don't have the other one. We don't have a throttle. Okay, so we got a few things here. So we don't have the throttle. The throttle, where you at? Alright, so we got a V8 throttle. We don't have the radiator. So we got that. We don't have two things of fuel. We don't have the fuel rail, and we don't have a fuel filter. So there's the fuel filter, and fuel rail for a V8 is all we need. And then that should complete this. I think it's DI. I don't think it's V8 specific. We'll find out here in a second. It wouldn't be the first time, and it won't be the last time that I buy the wrong parts. Oh, no, that was right. Okay, I did buy the wrong throttle, though. Alright, radiator's done. I'll get back to the throttle there in a second. I probably need... Yep. Need the supercharged belt, too. For the serpentine belt. So we need supercharged serpentine belt. And I know you can search it, but I mean... Between my typing, it would just... It's just quicker for me to do this real quick. Alright, there we go. We got that. And then we need the... Throttle V8. Oh, I bought a Throttle B. What an idiot. I didn't even see that. 
Uh, okay, so we need a throttle V8. It's this one. <laughs> Constantly mess that up. And then, yep, of course I don't have that. I do have belt tensioners, though. So, serpentine belt AAV8. Oh, where the hell is it? There it is. Look at that travel. That's like, holy hell, it's going all over the place. Okay, so we got that one done. Let's get the throttle on. That should complete the top end of the motor. We just need to put this fuel filter in. Cool. All right, let's get underneath it again. We got to finish getting the pistons mounted down on the bottom end here of the motor. And we also have to put the starter, I saw. Yep. I know that's not legit, but you can kind of see it there in the corner. I probably don't have an oil pan. That's something I am always lacking when I'm doing uh, the repairs in this series is the oil pan. Unless it comes with the car and I somehow magically repair it, which usually doesn't happen. I uh, have to buy them. I'm probably asking, why don't I just buy a bunch of them like I do other parts? And that's just because I don't always work on V8s, although I'm used to them in this game. And there you can have it. Yep, no oil pan. And it's pretty defined. Yep, there it is. Freaking huge. The V8's going to be drinking a lot of oil. And I think you have it there. I think that's the entire motor put together. Go ahead and work on the back end, just so this thing doesn't teeter over like it would in real life. I have some fuel tanks I can put in. Oh, I had two leftover fuel pumps. I'm still going to need a third one, though. There it is. Yeah, I was thinking about making this a race style version of it, like with a bunch of performance parts, but this thing is got some big wheels, big tires. It just it wouldn't make sense to be doing something like that to this. This thing's meant to climb stuff. It's not meant to do that. Alright, I don't have the rear shocks, which means I probably don't have the top too. And I'm missing an axle knuckle. Those parts I have leftovers of. One of those ones I buy a lot of. When I buy a lot of parts, it's typically suspension because the suspension components uh, go hand in hand with each car. They're pretty much the same. It's just there's slight differences based on the age of the vehicle. So like this is for, I would say this is for older car setup, the suspension, but at the same time, since it's an off-road vehicle, that's probably the reason why the author went with this setup instead of like something else, like on a performance car. It'd be cool to be able to paint those brake calipers, too. Oops. No, I don't want to do the tires yet. I'm going to save that for last. Uh, let's go ahead and do the drive shaft, because it's right there in my face. There we go. And we're making our way over to this side now. Oh, forgot I got to bolt that in. And I need to start buying some parts I'm missing because this is how you end up forgetting to install stuff. So we need the springs. And we're going to need the top hats for the springs too. So we need a rear spring. There it is. We need two of those. And there we go. Luckily, those two things have always been next to each other. So it's easier to find them than most other stuff. Oh, I forgot I had installed the rear axle knuckle over here already so I was assuming I needed one put this put this and there you have it I think I just need the wheels and tires now and I need to put oil in the engine obviously because I haven't done that yet let's go ahead and put some oil in it Got a 
Uh, wait for it to get close to topping off. There we go. And let's check it out. Let's see the stats just to make sure we didn't forget anything. It should just be wheels and tires and then body paneling from there. Yep, that's it. All right. Let's go ahead and raise it back up and we'll put the wheels and tires on it so you guys can check it out. Um, again, these are the same wheels and tires I came on the vehicle already other than I replaced them with uh, restored ones. And I also painted the rim black, but I went with them instead of doing my chrome black that I'm used to doing all the time I went with a matte black instead So that way it looked a little more meaty and like Off-road like whoops. I didn't do my star pattern. I'm sorry There you go as best as I could for the star pattern I'm trying to game's not allowing it though. Yep. Okay, well, we did it as best as we could. <laughs> this one I'm just not even going to try. It's just the wheels are too big, the camera angle's not right, it just makes it way too tough to do. And with that, we should be down to we'll go ahead and lower this thing all the way to the ground. You see, they had to <laughs> it had to come up actually for the size of this thing. It's freaking huge. Uh, now we're on to body paneling and seats. You know what? I did not see what seats are in this thing, or were, and they didn't come with seats when I got it. Seat four, leather D. Okay, let's pick that up. Seat four. Where the hell is it? There it is. Four. I saw fabric. Leather D, so it has two of these in it. I'm assuming there's two anyways. I don't see a steering wheel though. Um, what steering wheel did it have? Steering wheel seven, okay. Let's see what that is. If it's not one, oh, right here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That looks like something you'd have in like a military off-road vehicle. There we go. And steering wheel seven. Perfect. Man, that steering wheel looks kind of big in there, but I guess that's all you can do. I think we're on to body paneling now. So I don't have any of the body panels. I didn't care to keep them anyways, just because I like to start fresh with new stuff. Um, this thing's what, a W12, I think is what it's called. Okay, let's try Warth. Is that how it's spelt? That is not how it's spelt. We'll just type in war. There we go. Okay. So we need this. We just need one of everything, basically. Front window, hood, left headlight, tail light, rear bumper, right headlight. And this is in the trunk. Oh, that's cool. All right. Go ahead and start assembling the body. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this didn't come with any of this. So there's that. Oh, I did have that. Oh, oh well. There's the headlights. Oh, and I did have a rear bumper too. Okay. And boom, that should be everything. Let's see. Front right fender, left tail light. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I guess I have more. Yep, tail light here. Did not see that little uh, shadowed out splay there. And then it said something. Oh, the windshield. And it said something about fenders, too. Front right fender. Oh, right here. Durr. Did it on the other side. Okay. Now it should be 100%. Yep, it is. Okay, so going to normal mode, we're gonna move it to the paint shop. We're gonna work on it there. Oh, what? Um. Huh. My Chevy or my GMC Jimmy changed into a Ferrari F40? That would be cool in real life. I, I don't know what's happening here. I think 
because I had a mod before to, um, well, I'm going to get some free money out of this. I had a mod in here before to spawn like a car in this spot. I'm wondering if I hit the button by accident. Yep, that's what it is. I thought I got rid of that mod and I just lost the GMC Jimmy. That sucks. Oh, that is what it is. I guess we won't be doing a GMC Jimmy after all, unless I come across another one. But that's good to know. Apparently, I can. I didn't realize you could keep spawning them. That's cool. A good money hack in case I uh, ever needed money. Let's see, livery. We're gonna just keep it. Actually, we're gonna change up the livery. We're gonna do livery too, just because that looks cool. And then I'll just turn this all down in case it's for the. For the trim paneling, don't oh, leave the livery on it. Man, that looks cool. All right, let's move it over to the dyno. Let's see how it does. I don't even know if this is gonna look legit or not on the dyno with these big ass wheels and tires, but I wanted to do it. I want to see what it does. Uh, no, not yet. I wanna. Let's see. Actually, no, it's an off-road vehicle. I'm not gonna tune it. All right, so factory power is. 1,058 horsepower. That's probably going to be the same since we didn't make any changes to that. But look at how big those wheels and tires are on the rollers. Jeez. Oh, man. Yep, just making factory engine power, but that's insane. Then again, it's supercharged, so that makes sense. Okay. Let's move it out into the garage area here. We're going to check it out. I probably... Yeah, I don't want to move it there because I'm going to lose it if I if it, if it I hit the wrong key. I just got to remember not to leave anything in this spot anymore. Uh, there we go. I could have sworn I removed that mod. Can I get in it? Oh, yeah, you get in it. Nice. This looks sick. Look at this thing. Start it up. Oh, working tack, it looks like, too. Oh, that's cool. Okay, you know we gotta go drive it. Um, da -dun -da -dun -da -dun. Where do I usually drive? Is it the test track? I never can remember where it is that I... I it's the racetrack, speed track. We'll try the speed track. Well, for those of you that are looking for the uh, Ferrari F4... Or F40 uh, video when it gets released, you got a little sneak preview of what it's gonna look like because I accidentally spawned one over my GMC Jimmy, which that sucks, but oh well. Hopefully, that's a car that they have populated quite a bit for the uh, junkyard. All right, yeah, this is what I want. So give it a little red, let them know we're ready. There we go. Man, this thing is huge! <laughs> Get back in here in a sec to see it going away from us. Oh man, it'd be so cool to have one of these things in real life. Oh man, this is cool. <laughs> oh man, this is neat. <laughs> Oh man, that would be a lot of fun to own. If I just had countless money or countless amounts of money and somebody was selling them, I would probably definitely buy one just for the fun factor and take my friends and everybody out in it because that was pretty cool. That's probably going to end up back in the... Hopefully it ends up in slot B and not A. Yep, there we go. So it's ending up over there. I just got to remember not to keep a car over here for the time being, just to make sure I don't accidentally lose it. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. And until next time, take care.